From the depths of Iliamna Lake to the remote forests of the last frontier, legends of the unknown roam free in Alaska. Meet Illy, the elusive lake monster, the powerful bushman lurking in the wilderness, the enigmatic Wahila, a wolf-bear hybrid, the mighty Thunderbird commanding the skies, and the eerie Urayuli with their haunting cries. Join us as we explore the captivating tales and sightings of these Alaskan cryptids where myth and reality blur. The Alaskan Bushman In Inuit and Alaskan native folklore, the Bushman, or Tornit, is described as a giant, hairy, human-like creature that roams the remote wilderness. These beings were once friendly with humans, but now tend to avoid civilization. The Bushman is depicted as immensely strong and large, able to uproot trees and toss them easily. Some stories describe a gentle giant, while others portray a more aggressive, territorial beast. There have been many sightings and alleged evidence of the Alaskan Bushman's existence over the years. Hunters, hikers, and locals have reported encounters with large, hairy, bipedal creatures in remote forests. Footprint casts, blurry photos, and alleged hair samples have been presented as proof, but definitive evidence remains elusive. According to mythology, the Tornit lived in villages next to the Inuit. A young Tornit borrowed and damaged a young Inuit's kayak, leading to a fatal conflict. Fearing further violence, the Tornits fled and were never seen again. The Wahila The Wahila is a mysterious creature reported in Alaska's remote regions. This wolf-bear hybrid has a large size, shaggy fur, and elongated front limbs, making it hard to classify. Some believe it could be a surviving prehistoric bear dog, Amphitian, though evidence is limited. The Wahila is larger and more robust than typical wolves, with a wide head, large feet, and long, white fur. Its hind legs are shorter than the front, and its tracks show widely spaced toes. Witnesses describe it as standing 3.5 to 4 feet tall at the shoulder. Unlike wolves, Wahilas are solitary. Native legends depict it as an evil spirit with supernatural powers, known for decapitating its victims. Theories about the Wahila's origins include it being an amphitionid, a direwolf, a prehistoric hyena, or a new species of canine. It is often associated with the Nahani, or Headless Valley, known for mysterious beheadings. An American mechanic, Frank Graves, once described it as a wolf on steroids due to its massive build. Cats Cats are the offspring from a union between a man and a bear. Their appearances vary, from deformed creatures like two-headed or one-legged bears to pure monstrosities. In The Strangest Story Ever Told by Harry D. Culp, a prospector in the Thomas Bay area described them as looking like sexless men and monkeys, covered in long, coarse hair and scabs. Cats are mainly found in the Alaskan Panhandle in the southeast and a part of Tlingit legend. They might also be linked to Bigfoot stories from the American Northwest. Many legends from the Panhandle speak of bears marrying men and women. The name Cats comes from a man named Cats from Sitka, who married a bear that could transform into a woman. Cats met a tragic end, killed by his own monstrous offspring, jealous of the family he longed for. Cats are tough to kill. Thousands of hunters have tried and failed. The prospector who wrote The Strangest Story Ever Told shot at them with no effect, possibly due to their thick bear hide and strange anatomy. Their heart might be their weak point, but it's hard to find. For example, a two-headed bear's heart is between its heads, making it difficult to target. Despite their fearsome appearance, cats may not be as dangerous as they seem. The prospector described them as dangerous because he fired first out of fear. The Tlingit people say they are passive unless provoked. Urayuli 
Urayuli are described as ape-like creatures living in southwestern Alaska. Standing 10 feet tall, they have long, shaggy fur, glowing eyes, and emit a high-pitched cry similar to a loon's. Their long arms are said to reach down to their ankles. These peaceful beings are rumored to inhabit the forests near Lake Iliamna. According to legend, Urayuli are transformed children who get lost in the woods at night. This tale may have originated to keep children from wandering outside after dark. Iliamna Lake Monster The Iliamna Lake Monster, known as Ili to locals, Gonakadet by the Tlingit, and Jigiknak by the Aleutian, is an aquatic cryptid reported in the Alaskan village of Iliamna. Native stories describe a large creature in the lake with sightings sometimes linked to deaths. The creature is said to be 10 to 30 feet long with a square head, capable of damaging small boats. Despite no physical evidence, many believe in its existence. The Tlingit were the first to report the monster, describing it as a large animal with a wolf-like head and tail and an orca-like body. Known as the Gonacadet, it was depicted in coastal pictographs as a fish god. The Aleut people also spoke of the jig Iknak, fish-like creatures that attacked canoes and warriors. The first recorded sightings of Ili date back to the 1940s, when bush pilots reported a large, unidentified creature in the lake. In 2017, locals claimed to see a 50, 60-foot beast with smaller creatures spouting water like a whale. Theories about Illy's true nature include it being a surviving plesiosaur, a unique species of freshwater eel or sturgeon, or simply misidentified animals like seals or schools of fish. Tin Miukpuk, the Thunderbird. Thunderbirds are often depicted as giant eagles with black tails and curved beaks, so large they hunt whales for food. Found along the Alaskan coast from the Bering Strait to the Panhandle, Thunderbirds are associated with thunderstorms, possibly being their spirits. Their eyes create lightning and their wings produce thunder. It's unclear if there are many Thunderbirds or just one, Tin Mi Uk Puk. They could be physical creatures that nest and reproduce, or spirits tied to thunderstorms, potentially ancient as creation. Ojibwe traditions say Thunderbirds were made to fight underwater spirits aligning with Alaskan myths of them hunting whales. As physical creatures, they might be defeated, but as spirits, they can only be appeased. The safest approach is to seek shelter during a thunderstorm. Zdonaljasna The Zdonaljasna is human-shaped with a tail and fur covering its body except for the face. It can be human-sized or up to twice that, with a long nose that can grow up to a foot in length. This creature is found exclusively on the Kenai Peninsula during the summer. It is speculated to hibernate during winter, but this is not confirmed. Also known as the People's Stealing Monster, the Stonal Yasna lures people away with animal sounds, particularly bird songs. Victims fall into a coma and can be revived with a good luck song, holy water, or the sign of the cross. It may be related to the Nakani or wild men of Nahani Valley in Canada, considered by many to be a type of Sasquatch. Stonal Yasna's animal imitations are not perfect. Recognizing these signs can help you escape or even rescue its victims. And there you have it. If you enjoy our content, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you and safe travels, my dear friends.